Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, welcome to our next session on introduction to marketing. In the last few sessions, we have discussed about the fundamental concepts of marketing. In the last session, we looked at the strategic part of the marketing and the tactical part of, the mar of marketing. In the tactical part of marketing, we discussed about the prominent concepts of uh, marketing mix, the famous uh, construct of four piece. that is where we sort of ended uh, the last session. In this session, we plan to take up specific examples from the field of product marketing and from the field of services marketing to illustrate those fundamental concepts and the tactical part of marketing. In doing so, we will be citing examples of uh, companies and products, uh, but please understand that these examples are only to illustrate our con concepts and to consolidate your learning. Our aim is not to endorse or to criticize a particular company or product. It has to be taken completely in the spirit of an academic discussion for illustration. So, our first part will be on product marketing and uh, Dr. Shashi Shekhar Mishra will be explaining two interesting cases. Hello. So, I will be talking about two cases from the product side and the first case is a very fascinating story about success of Honda Activa in Indian market. And then we will also talk about a very famous product from Tata that is Tata Nano and we will try to understand what went wrong with Tata Nano that a product could not do well in the market. And probably by discussing these examples, we will just try to illustrate what we have discussed in the previous two sessions and what is the role of marketing and how probably the different activities in the marketing affects the overall success or the failure of the product in the market. So, I am going to discuss first as Honda Activa. Honda Activa was first launched in June 2001 and a company has done a lot of basically uh, background work is it, ha it has tried to understand the Indian market, Indian consumers and they have launched this product. This product has been a huge success in India and it is one of the top selling models, top selling two wheeler uh, product in Indian market which, which has crossed that 1 crore sales mark. So, basically we will try to understand what has made probably I mean what has gone in in the basically the success of this product. So, what is very essential here to understand is that how the company has understood an opportunity and how it has exploited that opportunity. So, Honda basically has understood that there is a large growing middle class in India and how basically their transportation needs are shaping up with the time and they have identified that that vehicle is probably is required not by only one members in the family. I think the vehicle is probably required for more than one person in the family. So, probably the, the husband and wife both are wants to have a vehicle for their transportation needs. Okay. 
one of the other reasons probably why, why, why scooters were very popular in India in earlier time before the motorcycle was because of their manageable size with the Indians. So, that was another thing that has made a scooter a success, but by the time in the late 90s actually scooters have, were on the decline and motorcycle was the most dominating form of product which was there in two wheeler market. Honda came and then it, they have revived this market with this Honda Activa. Uh, one of the reason probably for launching this product was that this product was very good for the city drive because when you have a traffic congestion in the city, then probably a product a four wheeler is not that easy to probably move or probably will not have enough parking space. At the same time, if you have a vehicle in congested areas or probably with a heavy traffic, then probably having a vehicle with gears and when you have to move your gears, it may not be that easy to drive. So, understanding these things and the trends in the society, the demographic trends in the society, as I have already said, the, there, there was one more thing which was happening probably particularly in uh, urban areas was or probably in the metros was there was a limited parking space in the traditional shopping areas. Like if you go to buy a vegetables, in, uh, go to buy vegetables in the market, you will probably not have sufficient space to park your car. Okay. So, probably there a two wheeler is a better option. Another thing probably which Indians want is that the low maintenance cost over the life cycle of the product and a fuel economy comparable to probably other product class like a motorcycle. So, understanding all these things Honda came out with this scooter in early 2000, it came out with certain features which was suited to those requirements like this product was probably suitable for both male and female. So, probably while as a husband can drive to his office or for his work. At the same time, the, the housewife can use it to do her domestic job also or maybe both can go to their office or whatever work they want to do. Another thing which was probably a very important ingredient for the success of this product was that engine was probably designed and catered to the needs of the, the probably Indian roads and Indian condition and since it was a gearless vehicle, there was no hassle in changing the gear when you are probably stuck in a basically crowded place. And it also has the features like button start, which is probably more preferred by probably a female population. Honda also continuously probably kept on basically improvising on its product and they have launched a number of upgraded version of a Honda Activa. So, they came out with this uh, recently this Honda Eco technology which makes it very fuel efficient and as per the claims the product gives a fuel economy of more than 60 kilometers per liter. So, it is as good as probably a motorcycle. So, that, that edge of motorcycle as a product class has been eroded by this uh, technology from Honda. As I said, uh, it again it, it is probably smaller in size and easy to manage. So, probably it is also preferred because of this reason. Another very important feature which uh, this scooter has that it has lot of space under the seat and probably, uh, probably along with um, in the body of uh, the vehicle you can attach additional probably um, storage space all those things have provided the storage space which makes it very good for taking it to the probably small places and getting things from there. And it came out with some of the features like anti theft locking which was probably meant or probably customized to the, the local needs of uh, markets. Then the pricing was very competitive. If we sum up all these reasons, we found out that understanding the probably the trends in the society, the needs in the society of the customers, their environment and their transportation needs, they have basically come out with the features in the product 
that suited that market. So, so I think I think then uh, therefore uh, this example uh, tells us uh, uh, about all the four P's that we discussed. You explained uh, various features about the product. So, one of the four P, the first P is product, yeah. product features, which must respond to a to the researched need yeah. of the customers. The second you also discussed about uh, the, the way it was uh, promoted by highlighting some of these uh, features HGTA like uh, anti-theft locking and we also discussed about uh, the specific aspect of pricing and there uh, as you rightly explained it is not only the price which upfront the customer yes. was paying for the scooter but also the running cost yeah. which is another element of price yeah. as we discussed in the previous session yeah. that when we look at cost yeah. there is a, a first cost and there is yeah. a running cost and there is a maintenance cost so there are three costs uh, which we often yeah. talk about as uh, total cost of total ownership. Cost, uh, total cost of ownership. So, uh, so this uh, example illustrates uh, the concept of price and how the different parts of price, the upfront price as well as the yeah. uh, running cost, maintenance cost, etc., were taken care of in this uh, success example. Yeah. The product features are being talked about, yeah. and maybe you will also. Uh, talk about how they distributed, how uh, they yeah. actually uh, looked yeah. at the tier 2 market, tier 3 yeah, market. They, have, they, they are upgrading their service network, so which provides probably a very good service uh, after sales service and the cost of maintenance is very low probably and that basically we, it takes us back to the core concept of value where the products benefit are much higher than the cost which a customer has to pay. So, the value that is being created by this product is very high in the customer's perception and at the same time it also illustrate what we were discussing yesterday that in that marketing as a set of activities in a process where we are talking about creating communication and delivery, how important are what is the role of this creation. So, understanding the needs, the needs the, the consumption environment of the customers and probably coming out with a product that suits to those requirements are being illustrated through this example. Excellent. So, we will move to the basically next example, which is another very fascinating story from uh, our country that uh, Tata first time tried to basically come out with a product. So, the next case study which we are going to discuss is another fascinating story from India is about Tata Nano. Tata Nano was a very popular product which was launched at that point of time. It has a huge waiting line at the, at the time when it was launched, then but the product did not do well later on. So, some of the things which, which we know about Tata Nano was that the product was launched at price less than two th target price of less than 2500 dollars or roughly around 1 lakh and that is why the product was also termed as a people's car. Okay. There was a lot of buzz around the product, the product was talked about around the world, it has automatically got on its own lot of publicity in the media and it has got lot of basically attention from uh, the different sections of the society because it was aimed at changing the way transport the transportation is being accessed by the masses in India. So, this vehicle was designed to be made available to the large population of developing countries like India. Tata has a plan to basically market it outside India into many developing countries. However, product did not do that well. So, what has caused basically the failure of that product? In his own word and admission, Mr. Ratan Tata has stated in 2013 that Nano became termed as the cheapest car by the public and I am sorry to say by ourselves not by me, but the company when it was marketing it, I think that is unfortunate. Being a people's car, being a cheapest car, it has become its own problem that a product being 
termed as a cheapest car. So, in a country like India, we are basically car is a status symbol which is probably attached with the aspirational values in our society. Car being a car owner also represent that a person is successful and probably has money or probably a social status and the product being a cheapest does not match with those values and that is why its positioning was basically not correct in the market and people were not ready to buy a cheap car okay and that that made has probably a it has a failure no i think uh, the case of nano is a classic uh, case uh, which uh, you had mentioned uh, in the opening session that when we look at the product and its attraction there are utilitarian functional logical reasons uh, and needs that are fulfilled by the products but there are also emotional aspirational um, uh, the what we call affective part of uh, product appeal so here is an example where the price was right price was attractive the promotion was phenomenal it it got attention of the whole world it was on the front page on the cover page of so many uh, newspapers and uh, magazines and there was a high expectation there was buzz yet it failed to connect to the sentiment to the aspirational value as you mentioned and as a result uh, so the other piece were right promotion was right price was right it was distributed right but because of product and its appeal and the subliminal uh, the, the subconscious message that was sent out by the product uh, did not allow it to succeed. So, a very important lesson from both the Honda Activa as well as uh, Tata Nano is that the four P's when we discuss the marketing mix, we have to understand that it is a system, each part affects the other part. So, if you get one part wrong, then the product might fail. You have to see that all the four attributes are properly calibrated and as a system in totality it makes an impact to take it to success. I would just like to add on what you are talking about the relationship between the four P's among themselves. There is also one thing if your positioning is wrong your marketing mix also will not do well in the market. So, the marketing mix has to be aligned with the positioning and since in this case the positioning was faulty or probably the, the way the people have perceived is the target customers have perceived is was not the way the probably the product was designed. It also illustrate that the, the concept of value and the difference between what the what is the value inside the product and what is perceived by the customer. So, if these two things are different then again you will have problem with the outcome of the product in the market. Uh, it is important that the product I mean it is important that one should understand what, what kind of basically benefits a product provide at, as Professor Chatterjee was saying <laughs> functional as well as emotional benefit. Unlike probably in some of the developed world market where probably car is a necessity like unlike in India where it is also a basically there probably car is just a basically a functional need here in India car serves the both kind of needs probably functional as well as in emotional need in the form of a status social status of the person and that is where probably this product was not aligned in with the expectations of the people and it has not done well because of that kind of perception in the market. And cars perhaps uh, you know when later on we discuss about uh, low involvement products and high involvement products. Uh, cars, uh, they will always have some part of emotional uh, uh, appeal. That is why uh, whenever we discuss a car, we give so much of importance to styling, to color, to aesthetics and so on. 
there was possibly at a time long years back when you could actually come up you know like you, you mentioned um, uh, Henry Ford and the famous uh, T, uh, Ford model T which came only in one design, one color and so on. Those days are long gone. So, the emotional part will be there, but as you rightly said that at a low entry level car um, or a uh, uh, household uh, truck uh, possibly will in a western market succeed based on its utilitarian value. Whereas, even at the entry level because of the nature of our economy the aspirational aspect, the emotional aspect play a significant part and that is what we saw in case of Tata Nano. Yeah, actually uh, in fact we can think of initially probably there were two target segment. One was the two wheeler segment. People were graduating, graduating from, from to the four bike, wheelers. Yeah, bike, uh, motorcycle, scooters to the car because it was believed to be more safe and probably better where a family can move together. However, probably people found that uh, one, one of the aspect was this perception of being labeled as a cheap car and the other thing was like uh, uh, the probably people would prefer to buy a bike or motorcycle or a scooter which probably is more socially acceptable than probably a buying a car at a price of 1 lakh. On the other side for upper middle class it was it, it was purely a perception that it, it was not matching with their social status because they, they can pay slightly more for that and probably people have gone for a second hand vehicle instead of Tata Nano because yeah. their aspirational values were not matched by uh, or maybe satisfied by this product. So, I think these are the important learnings from these two courses which probably cement the the concept that we have learned in the previous two session and we would like to. In the next uh, section, uh, we would like to discuss about uh, how these same uh, principles uh, uh, can be understood in the services market. So, we will look at those uh, marketing mix issues, uh, we will uh, look at uh, the tactical part, uh, but we will see how these same factors play out a, a bit differently in case of uh, services. Thank you.